Hello, this is uh, my homemade video I made for hummingbirds. I just moved their feeders to a box and having some ant problems and moved it in its uh, mass hysteria right now. There's, they don't know which way to go, but they see their food. But in the background, you see Pea Ridge Battlefield Park. And uh, there's many, many acres out there where you can see owls, deer, bobcats, uh, coyotes, turkeys, and eagles. Anyway, these are ruby throat hummingbirds. The males have the red throat, and the females are bigger, and they have a splash of green on their back. And um, what's very interesting about these birds is uh, during mating season, the male likes to attract his female while she's up in my walnut trees, which are loaded with uh, walnuts this year. I have two walnut trees. Here's another one over here. And they like to perch in these trees. And as the male is doing his dance, he goes back and forth and doing this uh, zingy noise, like a zipper. <laughs> like the camera moves. And the female watches him like a clock going back and forth as she's being hypnotized and charmed by his movements. And uh, then they disappear on me. Uh, they they feed some, but not as many. These are where the feeders used to be, so they're still flying around the ropes trying to find out where the food is. Uh, I still get some feeders, but not as many. They're hatching, they're busy, you know, with their little hummingbirds and hatching them. And once they're out, I find there's more aggression in the hummingbirds. There's more backstabbing, literally backstabbing as they're on there. The feeders, you see them poking each other, and there's aerial battles, and and I call it kung fu fighting. They chase each other all the time. And the uh, little hummingbirds, they zoom, and they make this race car sound that goes zoom, zoom, with their wings. It's really a high-pitched sound. I can't get them. They sound like a bunch of bumblebees right now, upset because the feeder has been moved. And uh, what they do is they chase each other into these little... I have these azalea bushes that are purple flowers. They chase each other. Sometimes they go in there and hide, or they zoom off way off into the valley where the park is behind my house. They have plenty of room. I'm about the only neighbor in sight for, uh, I'd say, a half a mile. But um, I fill these water bottles with one sugar cup and four cups of water. I don't make any mistakes because you do. You can kill them. I kill them. I uh, also use a toothbrush to clean it up with because they don't like mold. They're picky eaters. And when the bottle is empty like it just was, I just replaced all four bottles, which was four cups of sugar, one for each bottle. I go through sugar bags quite frequently. Uh, they'll come up to my windows and hunt me down and look for me in the windows like they're knocking on the door and say, Hey, we're, we're hungry. Feed us. Hurry up. So I'll get out and look. It's empty. I put out new feeders. What I do is I just shake the bottle. No, I, I call it like shake and bake, but it's not baking it. Most, some people heat up the water. I don't. I just shake it and put it out there for them. As long as it doesn't have dye, they're fine. And uh, I'm... Like I said, I'm fighting these ant problems. I need to put water. There's water underneath that tub, so I won't have any ants this time. But I like to kind of move it around and see how many. I have 40 feeders, as you can see. They're doing their little aerial stunts right now for us. They're kind of a little bit confused. And uh, they arrive on April 15th, which is tax day, and they leave October 10th around my birthday. And it's August now, so it's about time for them to leave. At least the males will leave soon. And the females stick around a little longer. But that's all I have to say, and I hope you have a nice day. I'd like to hear from you. My name is Peggy Handley, H-A-N-D-L-E-Y, Johnson. And see you later. Bye-bye.